It's amazing how much a free program like Blender can do, from modeling, test sharing, rendering, sculpting, animation, and more. It makes you wonder what else is out there that you might be missing. Let's go on a quest to find amazing free software that any artist can use. Before we get started, I teamed up with Grant Abbott and GameDev.tv to create a VFX course that I think you might be interested in. If you want to check it out, all links are going to be in the description. If you love anime and want to create your own one day, that day can be today. Roid Studio is a 3D program for creating anime characters, complete with a suite of tools for animation, rigging, clothing, and tone shading. It's free to use and it's available for mobile, desktop, and iPads. What is great about this is that you can even export the models you have created into Blender and other applications. There is also Roid Hub where you can download characters made by other users, or if you have something to share, you can upload it as well. If you can dance or fight, you can easily capture your moves with this free AI motion capture tool using only your mobile phone. You don't have to wear any suit or any fancy gadgets or set up multiple cameras for this AI to work. This video to motion capture AI is a perfect tool for animating your characters using your cool moves. For those of you who want to add trees, grass, and vegetation in your scene, but can't afford a dedicated add-on like Botanic or Giscutter, Plant Factory is a standalone program that comes packed with a lot of vegetations, and you can even make your own trees from scratch. This can be exported to Blender as FBX or OBJ files. Because it's a standalone program, there is a bit of a learning curve, and another thing to note, while Plant Factory is free, there will be no further updates to it which is unfortunate, but the assets created with it will be usable for a long time. There are many sources of HDRI images like HDRI Heaven or HDRI Maker, but sometimes you want something specific that doesn't exist. So here is an AI solution. Skybox, a free HDRI AI generator that can generate a full 360 degree image of what you want. Just type a description in the text box and it will create it in a matter of seconds. You can select from different settings like cinematic realism, magic realism, drawn, above the clouds, and more. It can also handle any style from photorealistic, stylized, and NPR. While Skybox AI is easy to use, it does not give you as much control over your creation like this next AI by NVIDIA called NVIDIA Canvas. This is a full-blown standalone application with layers, editing tools, and more. It's like Microsoft Paint, but what you paint turns into a realistic image that can be used as an HDRI image or just a background. This is great for anyone who does matte painting or wants to add extra detail to their render. Sometimes you want a model that, that is well-made, textured, and ready to use. If you have no time or skills, to make it on your own and can't find it on Sketchfab or other places, try Rodin AI. This is a new AI generator that is capable of making 3D models with great topology in just a few clicks. A few years ago, Epic Games bought Megascans and made their entire library available for free for anyone using Unreal Engine. If you download their standalone application, Bridge, you can download any asset you select to your computer as an FBX object. Now you are only supposed to use the assets in Unreal Engine unless if you get a paid license. So basically what I'm saying, Blender can import FBX and it won't ask any questions. Houdini is the industry standard when it comes to creating procedural workflows, simulations, VFX, and a lot more. Every major film has used Houdini in some way, and most AAA games use it to create procedural workflows from crowd simulations, traffic, terrain, and city generation. If you want to get employed quickly in this industry, master Houdini. Fortunately, you can download a free version of Houdini that has everything that Hollywood is using. The only limitation is that you can only render at 1280 by 720. It's hard to properly convey the weight of a character when animating. Cascada is a physics-based animation tool for animating and rigging characters, which will make conveying weight of a character very easy. You can animate characters in a manner that respects 
physics and is also a personal assistant for your animation. Most of the times, when it comes to animation, you have to manually do everything. If you are using Cascada as your assistant, you only need to create key poses and the animation will use its AI to fill in the missing pieces. If you have ever used Substance Painter, you already know it's the most popular 3D texturing painting software in the industry. If you don't want to pay a monthly subscription to Adobe to use Substance Painter, a great alternative is Amo Paint. It's only $19 and you own it forever. And if you don't have that, you have the option to get it for free. The catch is you have to build it yourself from GitHub. Building it is not that hard, but $19 is not that much considering what you're getting and that it's made by a regular artist like you and me who need some support to keep the project alive. 3D does not always have to be complicated with realistic models and textures. Sometimes what you need is a simple style to visualize something. Womp is a free 3D application that can do simple 3D shapes based on design distance function or SDF. It also creates smooth looking models, materials and animations that you may see on fancy websites and Instagram pages. If you want to do social media marketing, maybe take a look at Womp. It may be exactly what you want. Trees are essential in 3D. It's hard to find a render without one or two. There are many tree libraries out there, each with its own advantage. TreeIt is a library of trees and a standalone application for generating trees. This can be high poly or low poly and ready to use in game engines like Unreal. What I like about this is how light it is and how much variation you can make with it. You can use it to create grass, palm trees, regular trees, pine trees, banana trees and more. You can also add wind animation to the trees and the animation is free. The next tool in our list is the tracker. It's not free but I had to put it in here because of what it does. If you make movies or do any form of motion tracking, you need to get GeoTracker. You can match the movement of any object in the real world with the animation of a mesh in 3D by just using a few points. Then the tool will track and solve the movement in one go. It also has a sister tool called Face Builder that works inside Blender that basically generates a face out of any image. You just align the mesh to the image and the add-on will extract textures and create materials based on that image you fade it. Most of the tools we have looked at are standard on application. Mixamo is not. It's a web-based tool by Adobe that you can use to rig your characters. Then these characters can use Mixamo's library of motion captured animations. Mixamo also comes with its own characters and you can easily switch out the animation they are using by selecting anything from the vast library of motion captured animations. Another amazing free software you can download is Vu. This used to be the go-to application for creating large landscapes with mountains, rivers, lakes, and trees covering large areas. It was used in a lot of large Hollywood movies like Avatar and AAA games from the 2010s. Unfortunately, it's no longer updated, but fortunately, it's now been made free permanently to anyone. It's a bit dated, but if you are brave enough, you can get some amazing content out of it. Or you can try something more updated like True Terrain, the Blender add-on for Terrain creation if you want to stay inside Blender. If you are not afraid of venturing outside the familiar world of Blender, you can always try Gaia a popular free terrain generator that is up to date. It's not based and free. It creates some of the most detailed terrains you can imagine. It's also used a lot in AAA games and films. PBR materials are the best materials if you want realism, but the PBR shader needs at least four images. That's the base color, roughness, metalness, and normal map. There are a lot of free textures out there on Google. Unfortunately, they only come as a single image. With this standalone application, you can turn any image into a set of PBR maps that can be used with the principal BSDF shader. It would be unforgivable to leave out Unreal Engine in this list, as it's one of the most popular game engines in the world. It's constantly updated with new features and can handle any projects you can throw at it. There are plugins for it that let you import Blender Geometry Node setups into it and Houdini Procedure tools. They also regularly give you free assets from the Unreal Engine Marketplace on top of the Mega Scans library. 
To close out this list, we shall end with Janga FX, Liquigen and Embadian tools. These are not free tools, but they are changing the industry faster than any tool I have ever seen. Previously, there were no real-time tools for fluid simulation or fire simulations. Embadian and Liquigen are the first of their kind as dedicated tools for smoke and simulations, something you should check out if you make a lot of simulations. Thanks for watching. Those were some amazing tools that every Blender artist should know about. See you in the next video.